tracking, understanding, and minimizing the non-billable time within your business can have such a huge impact on the profit of your company. It's worth really understanding and focusing on it. And that's why we built the feature into Service Autopilot to allow you to specify the different types of non-billable time tracking that might be causing you problems within your business and then track that time from the mobile devices. And thereafter, get a report showing you by crew or by technician, by individual, by day, week, or month, what areas of your business are incurring the most non-billable time and where you're essentially losing the most profit. Now, once you identify an area of the business that is a big offender, our recommendation is that you, if possible, focus on just your worst offender. Spend your time trying to fix one thing at a time. So for example, if drive time is your biggest offender, then as a company you would focus on drive time and you would track drive time for everyone within the company. You might stop tracking non-billable time such as load and unload, if all you're doing is focusing on drive time right now. And the reason I say that, and it's not a requirement, is solely to just simplify everything for your team. The company is solely focused on fixing drive time. And then once you've identified that drive time is your offender, you want to document the steps. What do we do when we're driving? Like, what are the actions? So an individual starts his day, Maybe he drives the truck from his home or maybe he picks up the tr truck at the shop. What are the steps that happen throughout the day? Now, once you know what the steps are, you're looking for steps that you can remove. What can we take out of the process that is completely wasted? So in our example, we're working on drive time. The team or the tech arrives at the shop. They clock in. They load the truck. They leave. Then they go to the gas station. They get ice and water and snacks. Is there something in that process that could be removed? For example, could we get the activity of buying ice and water out of that? Could we remove that and bring ice and water in-house to the company? Next, we're looking for, is there anything we could move? So in our example of drive time, they're filling the truck in the morning in the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock hour when all of your competitors are filling their trucks. Could we move that activity to the end of the day when nobody's filling up their trucks? It's easy to get in and out of the gas station quick. So that's an example of remove and an example of move. Within our list of steps, is there anything we could outsource? So as an example, if included in drive time, they are having to get ice and water. Could we remove that completely? They do not have to get ice and water from the filling station or the gas station. And could we outsource it so that someone in the morning that is inexpensive is delivering to them, to their truck, their ice, water, and snacks? And they don't even have to touch it. So this may not be an example you want to implement in your business, but it's an example of looking at your process, looking for steps that can be removed, steps that can be moved, and steps that can be outsourced. So some examples of driving non-billable time out of your business, and there are so many. I gave the example of filling your trucks at night. The typical argument is, well, they have to get ice and water and snacks in the morning or their lunch. Could you have them do that on the way into the office? Could you provide ice and water at the shop, bring an ice maker into the company? If techs take the truck home, that's sort of a perk. They don't have to drive their car to and from work. How about having them fill up the truck off payroll, either in the morning on the way in or at the end of their day, but they do so when they're not clocked in? I gave the example again of bringing ice makers into the office. Not only will that save you money, it will allow somebody on your team to stage their drinks for the day, or it will make it easy for them to get their own ice, and they don't have to have multiple people in their truck sitting at the gas station on payroll. What about having an assistant support the techs? So if a tech normally spends X number of minutes per day filling out paperwork and doing call-aheads and other miscellaneous activities, is there someone that you could hire for potentially less money that could do that for them? Or maybe that person even costs as much money, but what it does is it frees up your tech to bill more time. Generally, our crews, our techs, our drivers, they're difficult to find. And if they're difficult to find, how can we better utilize them because they are so hard to find and have somebody else that's maybe a little easier to find do support type work so that they can spend more of their time generating revenue and less of their time doing the things they probably don't even like doing anyhow. What about allowing your estimators to record voice memos 
and send those into the office and have someone on the office support team write the estimate and get the estimate out the door. This makes sense in a lot of ways. One, generally estimators don't love putting together their estimates. Generally, they're running from one appointment to the next during the day, and then they have to do their estimate at night or the next day, or they get delayed a couple days, and then you end up losing the estimate because they didn't get it there faster. What if you could have a person support your estimators so they can go from one estimate to the next, knock them out. This individual is putting them together and sending them to the clients as quickly as possible, saving your estimators time so they can do more estimates, and helping you win more estimates faster to give you a higher conversion rate. If you have to deliver materials to a job site, why make your techs and crews pick up the materials? You have all these individuals sitting in the truck on payroll while they're picking up the materials. Could you have a person pick up the materials, deliver the materials, and maybe even stage the job? And you could do the very same with parts runs. It's so often that techs have to leave a job and go make parts runs because their trucks are not adequately stocked. Could you have somebody assist with that? Could you have somebody even inspect the trucks at night to restock the truck so the tech does not have to do that and they can get into the field much faster and start billing? Could you have a lesser expensive person inspect the equipment, inspect the trucks, perform maintenance, and take all of that off your techs and your crews? Think like a brain doctor. The brain doctor shows up, he performs the operation, everybody around him staged the surgery, and then he's out, and they are now cleaning up. Could you turn your technicians and your crews into that type of a scenario where they act as a brain doctor? They sweep in, they do the job, and the support team around them takes care of everything else so that they can bill the maximum amount of money for your company. Those are just a couple ways. There are so many ways to drive non-billable time out of your business. And again, driving non-billable time out of the business is where the profit is made.